Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Redstone with Mr. Saturday. I am Mr. Saturday and I hope you are having a beautiful, wonderful day. In today's episode, we're going to go over the smelter that I have behind me. This is going to be the smaller version of the one I plan on building in the survival world. Um, you can build this guy with blast furnaces, smokers, regular furnaces. I'm building it out of smokers because this is technically going to be the way I um, make fuel with kelp and dried kelp. So we're going to toss a couple of kelp bits in here. This top guy is your um, things you want to smelt. And this chest can be put anywhere you want it to be put. And the, this middle guy is going to be your fuel. And he could also be put anywhere you want him to be put. The same goes for the output chest when everything does get smelted. But we're going to go over the basics right here because this is only a fourth of the one I'm building and it is it's pretty simple it costs a lot of iron it really does but it is so worth it and it's very reliable so we're gonna get started we're gonna get started over here in this chunk some of the things you are going to need is whatever smelter you want um, I'm gonna you're gonna need six of those quite a bit of hoppers um, some building blocks some redstone, redstone repeaters, or comparators and repeaters, torch, and whatever way you want to use as a storage container or drop off. Um, but we're going to use a chest for this one. So one of the things that we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prep this guy so he's not too close into the ground and we have to dig stuff out. I'm going to make him about that tall. He's a little, he's going to be a little bit taller than the one I built over there. So once you have where you want to build it, just place down two, three, four, five, six in a straight line like so. On the top, go ahead and place hoppers feeding into each uh, one of the furnaces. On the back, go ahead and place a hopper feeding into the back of each one of the furnaces. So you'll have something like this. You can go ahead and place a temporary block in any direction you want to and have hoppers sucking out the items whoops, in each one of the, oh, if I could place them today, on each one of the furnaces. So be very careful with these hoppers. You want them to be facing into the one in front of it. So you kind of want the little arm bit to go into the next hopper up until it reaches here. And we can even make this guy just to go ahead and prep them come out by one and that's where we'll put our chest now depending on which direction you want to be loading things and unloading things go ahead and find that on the opposite end we're going to go ahead and place down a couple of temporary blocks like so delete that one and we're gonna face hoppers into it, leading back to where you want to load. And this could be, you know, any which way you wanna do it, but this is where we're gonna do ours. And I'd stick one extra off to the side like this, so you could place a chest on top. Or, you know, wherever, you, like I said, a lot of this, wherever you wanna drop it off, that's how you drop it off. Or, we're building this so we can get to the main redstone component for the actual smelter itself. On the back, you want to do the same. Just go ahead and place you a couple of temporary blocks and feed your hoppers in the direction it needs to be fed in. If I can, there we go. Do that, we'd be okay. Place your chop, uh, your chest for your fuel. So the very top one is for items that get smelted. The middle one is for your fuel. And then this guy, he's done. He's just where the stuff that's smelted is going to go. Now, when it comes to the redstone, this is where it gets kind of fun. And we're going to, we're to go over it together. You're going to delete that block, but you're going to place a block here. So you want it to look a little bit like that. You want it to be in line 
with the first set of hoppers we placed and just below the second set of hoppers. On top of that block, you want to place a comparator facing away from the hoppers, like so. And you want to place a temporary block and a full block like that. So you want it to run into a block and another full block here. Now on this full block, facing away from the block itself, place you a redstone repeater. Place you a temporary block with a full block on top and then you can get rid of your temporary blocks. Whoops. On this side, so the side that's um, facing back towards the smelter itself, you want to place a redstone torch. And oh, I guess we did kind of need that block, but we're going to place it right there. And then you're going to need one more that comes off, so you'll have two like this. And then go that way. So you want to go cut one back to the hoppers and then follow your hopper line all the way here. So you should have something that looks like this. Now we're going to take our redstone dust and place it on top of these blocks. And that is the locking mechanism done for that hopper line. So what it's going to do is it's going to take items out of the chest. It's going to make sure all the hoppers have at least one. The comparator reads the last hopper, unlocks it, the bottom hoppers, and allows it to go into the furnace. That way it could distribute somewhat evenly sometimes you'll have problems out of it sometimes you won't uh, you'll have some uh, some hoppers give one furnace three but the rest of them will have one um, it really depends if you have this built inside of a chunk or if you have it like built in between chunk borders on how the redstone will act now we're going to do something similar to our fuel line because we want our fuel line to be hooked up same thing, you want to place a block on the bottom row hoppers, just one below the um, top hoppers. You want to place a comparator facing out from the hoppers. Place you a temporary block with a full block. Place you another full block here that's in line with your uh, comparator block. Place you a redstone repeater facing away from the block. Place another temporary block with a full block. And then facing back towards your hopper line, place you a torch, a redstone torch, and another block. You want to place another block onto that block and bring it in by one. So you should have something that looks similar to this. Now off this block right here, the same as the first one, we're just going to follow our hopper line and then we're going to place redstone dust on top of those blocks. They will light up when you get close. That is the whole smelter done. That is it. Now you have six furnaces that work together when smelting. And if we look over here, we have, <laughs> we have our dried kelp. One of these, sometimes you do have... Let me think of the words. Um, how this works is it, it needs enough to activate the comparator, right? So you might have one to two items still in this hopper waiting for more items to send a redstone signal. So there is a chance you will lose like one to two items. Um, but that's fine. Once you put more stuff in it, it will come through. That's why this design for me was really good for the uh, kelp farm we have and making fuel because my input chest is just hooked up to a kelp farm similar to this one. So the kelp grows up, gets collected and goes into the smelter. But I figured I'd like to share it with y'all guys. Um, that is it for this build. It's really nice. It's kind of simple and get kind of tricky with the redstone but once you got the hang of it it's not that bad. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.